Yo, what's going on guys? It's Shock with DG, and in today's video, me and a couple friends, Kappa and Vexian, I'll have both their YouTube channels linked below in the description, have found some crazy, brand new, instant spawn peaks that you can do with the Chanka's new gadget. So, if you guys like this video, be sure to drop a like. If we get 5,000 likes on this video, I'll do a part two. For right now, we're going to be going over three maps. We're going to do Bank, Oregon, and Consulate. All right, so start us off. The first map we're going to do is Bank. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys both the perspective of me as Tachanka actually shooting the projectiles from the grenade launcher. So you guys can kind of see exactly where I'm lining up my crosshair to shoot these projectiles and also where I'm standing. And then I'm also going to show you me and Spawn with one of my friends uh, as Tachanka shooting the projectiles. So you can see exactly where they're landing and all of that. So let's move on to Bank. All right, guys, so for the first peak I'm going to be showing you, it's going to be on the alley access. So what you're going to want to do for this peak is simply go to square and then rip down the double door. What you're going to want to do from there is crouch out to where these bushes are and the railing is. You're going to be completely invincible from the actual alley itself. Crouch there and you can basically just spam these projectiles into the spawn. And what this is going to do is if anyone's droning or if anyone's AFK, they're probably going to die to these. And even if they're not, usually people in alley access spawn, if they spawn there, they'll instantly go prone or they'll at least sit there for a few seconds holding the angle, making sure nobody runs out. But of course, with this spawn peak, you're completely invisible. They cannot see you, but you're going to be able to shoot straight into their spawn. So of course, this is really broken, but this is a great way to get some instant spawn peaks. You're going to do a significant amount of damage. Now, on top of this, you can actually shoot straight up onto the you know kind of building that's up there where the ladder is so you can get these projectiles to land right on top of the ladder so if anyone's trying to avoid your fire from in the actual alley and they try to go to that ladder or they try to repel up you're going to be able to throw those fire grenades right on that building and you're going to burn anybody that's up there so it's a really overpowered peak but now i'll show you guys what it looks like when you're actually in the spawn itself so as you can see if you're anywhere in this alley access if you just spam these projectiles straight into the alley you're going to take a bunch of damage maybe get a killer to and even when you go up to this ladder you're still probably going to die or at least take a lot of damage so this is a really good peak all right but next up we're going to go over the jewelry spawn so this one's actually really cool because not only can you get the fire grenades directly into where people spawn directly where they're standing but you can also shoot these in such a spot where it's going to land in the tunnel itself the secret tunnel or dirt tunnel whatever you want to call it so you can actually spam these into the tunnel so that when people go to spawn and they rush to drop that tunnel they're going to drop straight into a bunch of fire so this spawn peak is really cool um, it's pretty easy to do as well all right so as you guys can see not only was he able to shoot these fire grenades straight into the spawn past the tunnel but he's also able to get these fire grenades directly in the tunnel so you can set up some really cool things where you throw a bunch of these into the tunnel if you can line it up perfectly the second the round starts spam these into the tunnel if you know they're going to be pushing it they're going to drop straight into a bunch of fire take a huge amount of damage and the round's going to be so much easier for you to win and if anyone's afk and spawn itself you could just shoot these straight into the spawn if anyone's droning or anything like that as i said previously you're going to do a bunch of damage if not kill them all right so for the last spawn peak we've got we've got the parking spawn of course so all you have to do for this one is go to atms by these triple doors here and aim above the windows shoot these straight near to their spawn and what's really cool about this one is not only will you get directly where they stand when they spawn in, but you can also shoot these to where the staircase is to go up onto the actual parking garage. So you can pre-fire the stairs so that they can't leave the spawn itself and then just spam these into their spawn. So another really cool spawn peak. So as you can see with the fire grenades that go directly into the spawn, they can bounce off these cars or that tree or anything like that and just go straight into the spawn and kill you. So another really cool peak. All right, so next up for our next map, we've got Oregon. So we're going to go over all three spawns on Oregon, of course. So to start us off, we're going to go over to the street spawn. So there's actually several different ways you can spawn peak street. There's a lot of very cool things you can do. But the first one we're going to go over is actually through the floor, through game's window, all the way into street spawn over the building itself. So this is actually a really cool spawn peak that we kind of accidentally found. All right, so as you can see, you have to be really careful to actually get the fire grenade to go through the floorboards and not bounce back and hit yourself. So it can be sort of tricky to learn at first, but with a few tries, you'll get it no problem. All right, so for the next spawn peak onto the street spawn, 
What you want to do is go to the garage and shoot open a hole with your LMG on the top left part of the garage wall itself. Now all you want to do is just spray these things straight into the spawn and they'll land deeper into the spawn than the one before. So the one before I showed you was mainly for when they're running out of spawn but this one's for if there's any droners or AFK players or anything like that. So this one's actually really useful as well. Alright, so really quickly before we move on to the next spawn, I'll show you guys the perspective of the person in the spawn. So this is what it's going to look like if you're getting spawn killed by this new instant spawn kill with Tachanka. Alright, so for our next spawn, we've got the junkyard spawn. So what you're going to want to do for this one is go to the small tower, open up this window you see that I'm at, and basically aim over all that debris and all that stuff directly into their spawn this one is another really good spawn peak you're not going to be able to be seen by them whatsoever and you're going to be able to shoot straight into their spawn they can do nothing about this all right so once again i'll show you guys the perspective of the person in spawn so as you guys can see there's absolutely nothing i'd be able to do to counter this i'm just going to instantly take damage when i spawn in so this is a really really good peak all right, and for our last peak on Oregon, what you're going to want to do is go to the top armory stairs right by Master, rip down the single window here, go up to it, and just shoot almost as high as you can. This one almost looks like that you can't make it because it looks too far away, but you actually can. It works just as well as the other ones, so it's another really useful peak. And always the perspective of the person in spawn. So again, you just cannot do anything about this. There's no way I'd be able to stop Tachanka from doing this. So it was honestly really busted. I hope we see some sort of fix for this in the future. But that's going to do it for Oregon. But the final map that we have is actually Consulate. And we're going to start with the police line spawn. So what we're going to want to do for this one is head upstairs to connector by CEO and meeting. Basically open up this window and just shoot these straight into their spawn. This is one of the more simple spawn peaks on this map, so there's not too much to show. The concept is pretty basic, but if you want to get the left side of the spawn, you know, you can go to the death box windows. If you want to get the right side of the spawn, you could go piano windows or connector window or antechamber window. Pretty much any of the windows that look towards that spawn is going to work, but I chose the connector window. As for the perspective of the person dying, this is what it's going to look like if you were the one in spawn getting spawn peaked by this. Alright, so next up we actually have one of two ways to spawn peek onto the gas station spawn. So this first one being in bathroom on the third floor. Simply going to want to go to bathroom, rip down this window, and do exactly as you see me doing. So again, this is just one of two ways to do this. I'll show the second way in a second. But as you can see, this is a very effective way to do a bunch of damage in their spawn or get some free kills. So this is another really good spot. Alright, and for that second spot I was talking about, we have the yellow window. So you're just going to go a little bit away from that bathroom window you were just at open up this yellow window and do again just as you see me doing here so next up i'll show the perspective of the person in spawn so you can see exactly what it looks like from their end all right so for the perspective of the person in spawn as you can see you can really do nothing about the tachanka in either positions at the bathroom window or the yellow window so that makes this really really overpowered all right, and next up, we have the riot spawn. So again, I'll be showing you one of two ways to spawn peek on this. So for the first one, you're going to want to go to admin on the south side. Go open up this window, and you're going to shoot them just above that palm tree like you see me doing. Just be careful. As you can see, the window hitbox is kind of weird, so you may end up hitting the windowsill. So you might want to back up just a little bit. But for that second spot I was talking about, you're going to want to go to the admin windows, as you see my friend doing here, and just shoot them straight into the spawn. So this one's very similar to the one I showed you, but you can just get a slightly different angle if that's what you prefer to do. All right, and of course, we have the perspective of the person in the spawn. So as with all of these, you just cannot see the chunk at all. There's really no way of countering this. You can't stop him from doing it. So then again, really, really busted peak. All right, and finally, we have the very last spawn and the very last map of the this video so again if you guys would like to see a part two of this video 5,000 likes and i will make another part two of this video with another three maps so be sure to do that so for this one this is actually the easiest one of all the spawns on consulate so all you want to do is go to the admin window like you see me doing here and just shooting them straight over that van over that half file into the spawn all right, and the perspective of the person in spawn. As you can see, you cannot counter this in any way. You cannot stop the Chanka. I've been saying this for the whole video. These peaks are super overpowered. 
Hopefully there is something to be done about this. Maybe the range is reduced. I'm not sure what they needed to do, but this is crazy OP. If you guys enjoyed the video though, I would really appreciate it if you gave me a like, if you subscribe to the channel, it really does help me out. I'm trying to get to 100K subs by the end of the year. And if I do, I will go ahead and drop merch. I've announced that earlier. But if you did like the video, be sure to comment down below and tell me which peak was your favorite. I'm really interested to know which you guys think was the best peak. But as always, guys, thanks for watching, and I hope you have a good day.